Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. This is Chris. Today I was going to be talking about the world's cheapest over-under shotgun. Um, I was looking for an over-under, um, which for those of you who are new to guns, over-under shotgun just has two barrels. One's over, one's under. Um, depending on the gun, you can usually have a couple different things. You can have one barrel that shoots first. Um, in this case, it's got a switch. Sometimes you have two triggers. So you can pull whichever trigger you want to shoot. Um, and then you can usually have what's called extractors or ejectors. Um, this is extractors. They extract the shell, but you still have to pull it out with your fingers. The ejector shoots them over your shoulder when you open the action. But I was looking for a um, over-under just because when I shoot trap, we have some interesting rules at the one trap range I go to with as far as what you can load. And you, know, you usually should only have one round in your gun which on a break action is super easy. You just drop one in there and you're good to go. And then if you want to move, you can easily break it, unload it, and you're good to go as well. Um, but with a pump, it's difficult to drop one in right before you shoot, and then if something changes, you got to go. I mean, it usually comes into play when you're playing games like Annie Oakley, where if someone misses, you can pick up theirs. So sometimes you may need two shells, sometimes you may need one, and sometimes you may lose, and now you have to move and rotate so you have to unload your gun quickly so I was looking for a over under that was cheap because I'm not that big into trap shooting as far as I'm not good at it I enjoy it I enjoy pretty much every type of shooting but uh, trap is one of those things that you can spend a lot of money and get something that's amazing or you can get something like this and it'll, it'll work okay for what you're using it for I definitely wouldn't be going and shooting trap every weekend with this gun but uh, it's pretty functional so I was looking for a cheap over under and this is pretty much the definition of cheap I think I paid 270 new in the box for this um, it says Mossberg or it says Maverick on it which is actually a sub cheaper brand of Mossberg um, but these aren't even made by Mossberg they're made in, by a Turkish company I think Khan in Turkey um, <clears throat> pretty much your your cheapest most basic over under you can get the furniture is all plastic the barrels are painted of some sort like it's it's almost some paint parkerizing blend thing um, and, and that's the big thing you see is is with an over under you pay a lot of money to get a really nice finish and you pay a lot of money to make sure these barrels are regulated or they shoot in the same place now this this I'm sure they just jam this wedge in here and weld it in and they don't care where they shoot so you lose a little bit of accuracy and stuff like that but for the money, for 300 bucks, for a beater that's plastic I don't have to worry about and uh, is, is just fun and does all I need, I'm not going to really complain. Um, it does come with a key here. I'm going to open the action. Um, this key you put in, in here and it grip, grips the chokes and you can screw your chokes out. And what chokes do is they give you the different uh, patterns. They squeeze down the amount of shot coming out into a tighter pattern or they'll expand it so you can do cylinder which is pretty much just a straight same size as the cylinder uh, and then you can choke it all the way down to smaller and smaller patterns and what that does is it just makes the shot fly tighter together further so you'll get a longer range um, but usually for trap you kind of want something that's a little bit uh, looser but like I said um, does have removable chokes. As far as I understand, they're Beretta Benelli chokes. You could get uh, chokes for a Beretta Benelli and uh, swap them in. I never really got around to it because, like I said, I don't shoot that much that it's worthwhile. But all in all, a decent gun. It's got a safety back here so you can select safe. And while on safe, you can change which barrel shoots first. So that's pretty handy. Um, the one weird thing about these Maverick Hunters is this lever to me is backwards. I think it's a left hand lever. Um, usually on a right hand gun, the lever goes the opposite direction. I don't know why that is. Um, some sort of cost saving measure, I'm sure. And just uh, a raised, non ventilated rib with a brass bead. So, and uh, it pretty much takedown is the exact same as any other brake action. You pull off the fore end, and there you go. Um, it did actually, for some reason, they went through the effort of machining the inside of the box lock. But beyond that, they really didn't put any extra finishing or anything. Like I said, it's 
it's essentially painted where all the bluing would be on a blued gun. So, all in all, like I said, not a bad uh, gun. It's, you know, in the price range of the Stogers that are cheap. Not super refined with the plastic furniture. It's nice. You don't have to worry about it uh, getting corroded from shooting, but you also now have a gun that's much lighter. Um, and I think they do book this as a hunting gun so i mean it would be very handy to carry in a field all day because it is so light but the recoil from shooting trap let's say all day does tend to beat up your shoulders so you probably want a trap vest if you're going to shoot this sucker all day but all in all uh, I've, I've shot it quite a bit no issues with it um it says it'll take up to three inch shells uh if you're interested and you see one for cheap but i would never spend more than 300 bucks or so on them because they are cheap guns. So make sure if you if you do pick one up, do get a deal on it. Because you should be able to find them floating around. I don't know if they're still importing them. I know when I got it, there was something about maybe they were going to stop carrying them or importing them at the distributor. So I'm not 100% sure on the status of that. But like I said, an interesting gun. Um, and definitely a, you know, a cheap one. I didn't see a lot of videos about them. So I figured I'd throw up some information. If anybody comes across one and is interested... Now you know a little bit more about it, and hopefully we can uh, decide if this is the gun that you'd like to shoot. For Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris saying, have a rootin' tootin' drunken shootin' day. Thanks for watching.